I... Rose... I... I want to tell her. I really do. But is she going to believe me? She already dismissed me earlier. It's a concussion, she said. It's not. There really is something in this house. In that attic. In that letter. It's going to go after us. Please believe me. Dear me. Is Isabelle alright? <sighs> I didn't even notice when she removed the crinkled paper from my hands and pushed me to sit down. From the edges of my vision, I can make out Miss Colo asking a passing food server for a glass of water. Through it all, Mr. Wright stands in the sidelines, and although curious, he appears more inclined to watch the scene than help. They are all as likely to believe me as Rose is. To everyone, whatever's in this house is just a hoax. A cautionary tale for children. Isabella, do you need me to call that ambulance? She offers me a drink, but I push it away. I need to get out of here before I cause an even bigger commotion. Clear my head, take a breath of fresh air. Anything to take my mind off things. No one is going to believe me anyway. No, I'm just feeling a bit out of it. Excuse me, I'll be back. I just need to catch my breath. It doesn't matter if this place is haunted or not. I've caused trouble and Rose can be quite unforgiving of behavior like this. I'm almost at the door when she catches up to me. Isabella, wait! The apprehension must have been quite obvious on my face because her expression instantly shifts to something gentler, eyes softer, a fond smile spreading on her lips. Hey, I'm not angry. I know, I'm sorry I ruined this for you. Come on, you didn't ruin anything. It's not like we haven't ran into any problems before. If we don't get a deal today, we can always try on a different day. And... look. She hesitates, completely trailing off before shifting her, hand, her gaze down to her hands. A small gesture to stall. Her fingers are fiddling with a piece of folded paper. It's that stupid letter again. My hands stiffen when she gives it back. But I take it, nevertheless. More as an automatic response than any desire to have it back. I'll throw it away if I can. But I'm not having this nagging feeling that one way or another, it'll find its way back to me regardless of what I do about it. Rose, this is... You have to let them know about... I know you want us to get this sale so badly. And we've made a lot of plans on how to go about this. I mean... Who wouldn't? This is the first time I've been assigned to a property like this. I've sold plenty of houses before, but nothing like what we have here. It's a beautiful house. I'd love to get one of my own if I ever win the lottery. But I think... Look, here's the thing, Isabella. If we are going to do this, work on something... I don't know, this... big... I need you in top shape. And the way you are now... My mind stops. What? Wait! No! I can still work! I just need to get myself together. That's what you said earlier. I let it go because I thought, Hey, it's your own body and you should know more than anyone how you feel. But after this, I really think you should take a break. You're... you're kicking me out? No, I'm not. Look, all I'm asking is for you to take a seat somewhere I can see you, and let me handle this for now. You're clearly not yourself, and I honestly could use some time not worrying when you'll fall over or not. The day's not even over, and I'm already feeling the stress. Please, humor me just this once. To some extent, that doesn't mean I'll feel any less awful. Whether it myself at the unlikely turn the situation has taken, or for her, I don't really know. I promise I'll give you a full report of what happens after. 
I'll even let you take the lead tomorrow. Fine. Okay. I'll step aside for now. You're upset. A little, yeah, obviously. If it's any consolation, I won't tell the boss about today. You know how he is. Please don't. I don't want a repeat of the lecture I got during my first assignment. He called me a noob, and I don't even know what that means. <laughs> <laughs> So, are we good? I'm still not okay with it, but Rose has a point. It's better for me to step out of this one for now. I won't be able to help you anyways if I keep getting distracted like this. Maybe I'll just take a walk outside or something while I wait for you to wrap things up. Please, just stay put. I insist. I'm not an invalid, Rose. You clearly have not seen how you looked earlier. It's not that bad. Color hasn't even returned to your cheeks yet. Just stay here, all right? Don't even think of going anywhere. Let me finish what I'm doing here, and then I'll take you back to Luxembourg myself to have that minor bump checked. At least wait for me to call someone who will fetch you, okay? Hmm. Left with nothing else to do, I find myself drifting back to the foyer. A few visitors linger in the area. Some really enjoying the afternoon sunlight streaming through the stained glass window. Others can be seen admiring the priceless antiques decorating the room. One of the elderly is gathered some ways across from me. is occupied in a friendly banter about which one would cost more to buy. A little argument here, an occasional laughter and teasing there. I smell it myself. The conversation reminds me of what I've been missing these past few months. Rose is probably right. I do need a break. Maybe this afternoon's hangout will help. Speaking of, I should call Ash. It's a few hours earlier from what I've told him, but he did ask for a call once I'm done. Besides, I don't have a ride back. He offered, so I might as well take it or bribe him into giving one. Not that he'll accept you ever accept the latter, personal convictions and all. Honestly, if there's something I find admirable about him, despite his tendency to annoy the hell out of me, it's that. Well, whatever works, a free ride is still a free ride. There's Rose's offer too, but despite what she says, I know she'll be busy for the rest of the afternoon, especially without me assisting. Bothering her for a favor as small as this is the last thing I want to do right now. A couple minutes, and a few prayers, asking for a decent signal later, the fight, call fighting connects, and... Shit! Stop Bob Ash from Deluxe City! What? Shit, how loud is this thing even? Can't beat me! Looking for Stop trouble? Better not alone. lie. I'm a cool dude. Pretty fly for an Asian guy. Soft Bob Ash from Deluxe City. Bad guys, watch out. Can't beat me. Looking for trouble? Better not lie. I'm a cool dude. Pretty fly for an Asian guy. Soft Bob Ash from Deluxe City. Bad guys, watch out. Can't beat me. Cavall Ashton Frey. Uh oh. Ah! Hello to you too, scaredy cats. I could stand to be greeted like a normal person, you know. What? And miss that look on your face? <laughs> no way! Oh man, I should have taken a picture. I am so honored you find this funny. Is that how you treat your guests? I think I need to talk to your supervisor. Talk to yourself? You aren't even a guest here. What are you doing here in the first place? I could be looking to buy a house. 
A mansion? Yeah, why not? Did you see the view outside? It doesn't look haunted to me at all. Ashton, I am not in the mood. What are you doing here? I just finished working on something, so I dropped by. Mm. And I, uh, I said I'll see if I can pick you up. Turns out I can. Uh, free time and all. So here, here I am. Uh, figured you'd still be busy, and so I roamed around for a while. Oh, you should have mentioned that sooner. I was about to throw you out. Throw me? Hey, I was given a pamphlet. I think that makes me a legitimate client. We have mandatory sign-in sheets for clients, Ash. I didn't see your name on it. And you can't just roam around because it says open house. Normal people actually follow an etiquette here. Right, okay. I think I'll just go ahead and... No, wait. I wasn't really going to throw you out. Rose said... <laughs> Never mind. I was just about to leave anyway. Wait, what? Now? What's wrong? Nothing. Well, let's just go. Doesn't look like a nothing to me. We still have Zack's movie tonight, remember? It's still early. And didn't you say your shift will end around 5 or 6? What about- Hey, Isabella, wait up! Sorry I'm not reading it aloud anymore. It just... I don't want to yawn anymore. Here. <laughs> Sorry. I won't say no to free food. But why are you giving away cereal bars? I always have one on my person, and you look like you're about to pass out back there. Have you eaten lunch yet? Ugh. How'd the open house go? The usual. We got a bigger crowd than normal because of the property's fame, but really, no different from the typical open house. On second thought, it actually looks like a fancy party more than an open house. I've never felt so underdressed in my life. Weren't you there? I wasn't really listening. I should have asked someone to kick you out. No, you won't. And what makes you so sure? One, ever since you got assigned to this property, you've been freaking out about it. Rebecca's words, not mine. She's been complaining to me about how you talked your ears off, by the way. Two, despite your initial qualms about the place, you still took the job. Which brings us to three. It's been months since you last settled a deal, and you're short on money right now since you're back to your instant noodle diet. How do you even know about the last one? Rebecca. Anyhow, you're hell-bent on selling the mansion. Even if someone you know personally is in the tour group, you aren't going to just kick them out. Every single person who went on your open house is still a prospective client to you. Even me. I hate you. I really hate you right now. <laughs> I'll have you know that there's already someone who's extremely interested in this property. So even if you express to any sort of interest in it, I don't think they'd be willing to let you have it. Too bad.
You don't seem too happy about it. I am happy. Doesn't this look like a happy face to you? Really? And here I was thinking you found another one stuffed in the sofa. Or is it the wardrobe this time? Yeah, well, things happened. Stuff the right couple might not be pleased about. No need to make a fuss about it. It's normal in the business. You made them angry? Not angry. Just... stuff happened. Like? Things. Did they do anything? Your clients. The rights, was it? Oh boy. Here's another... You keep asking me about my work, yet you haven't said a single word about yours. Yeah. That's not fair. Both you and Zack have literally disappeared off the face of the earth. Didn't we just talk a week ago over chat? That's different. Linking your awful memes in the group chat box every morning <laughs> isn't exactly a conversation. Me. Excuse me, I don't hear you calling them awful while you're laughing at all of them. Shut up! And you aren't answering my question. All right, all right. Lay off on the abuse. Remember that case I mentioned before? We've been trying to pin the bastard down, but it required more work than we anticipated. The guy's slippery like that. We got some good lead months ago. Hey, you guys! Long time no see! Sup, Z-Man! My main man! What's crack a lackin', my homie? Stop trying to act black, Ashton. And you're the only one who calls me Z-Man. <laughs> it's been a while, Zack. I hope you didn't get into trouble again. Not much to get into trouble lately without you, I'm afraid. I'll let you know if something comes up, though. Nah, I ended up with Chicken Down stuck on me last time I agreed. I'd really love at least this year to pass without some sort of accident happening again. Hey, I take offense to that. It wasn't that bad. You really have no idea. Hey, I'm kidding! You know you can always count on me. Huh? 
Rebecca's now with you. Is she still sick? A bit. But she's up and went to work this morning. You know she doesn't listen to anyone that's not Ash. Yes, she does. No, she doesn't. You're literally the only person she'll listen to when she's feeling stubborn. But don't worry, Zack. She's probably on her way here now. She promised she wouldn't miss your movie. Isabella! Oh, thank goodness! Becca! Becca, you're squishing my face. How are you? Are you alright? Why wouldn't I be? Rose called me earlier. Oh, no! No! Everything's good. Rose covered for me at work today. That's not what I'm talking about. How's your head? <coughs> oh, it's nothing. I just slipped off a few steps on my way down. I blacked out for a few seconds and had a minor bump, but it's just that. You blacked out? Uh, it's not something to brush off. Come on, at least let me check it. It's extremely minor. You wouldn't even know it's there. Isabella, this isn't a laughing matter. She did look pale when I saw her. Wow. Thanks a lot, Ashton. You traitor. I'll get you back for this. Just you wait. What? I'm just saying it as it is. If you mentioned this earlier, we wouldn't be having this conversation right now. I'm sorry. Saw her? Yeah, they arrived together. Bella looked fine to me then. I don't know. Oh. That's... that's good. At least she didn't have to travel alone, right? At least. Good. See? I'm okay. I wouldn't be here if I wasn't. And... and I don't want to miss Zack's film. We can always watch it some other time. <sighs> Sorry, Zachary. No, it's good. But you guys should really keep it down. We're starting to attract some attention. It's the premiere! The premiere's different! Right, Zack? Not really. But Rebecca has a point. In the end, I think it's your call. Oh, for heaven's sake! Please, Becca. I really don't want to miss it. You're not missing it. We're just moving it on a different day so we can have a... Look, you guys. If she says she's okay, then there's nothing we can do about it. It's not like we can stop her either. Besides, she's still acting like the same old Isabella to me. If she can still run around like that. Why are you taking her side? I'm not. But if she wants to watch Zack's movie with us, I'm not going to stop her. She's probably the one looking forward to it the most. Ash, that's... <sighs> you, of all people, should know... Tell you what, if I notice something amiss with her, I'll take her to the nearest hospital myself. Is that good enough for you? <sighs> Thanks, Becca. It's always been you with him, isn't it? Did you say something? Me? Uh, nothing. Don't mind me. If you say so. Okay guys, showtime's close, so I think I'm gonna get us some snacks. My treat. And then let's head inside. Uh, oh, goodness. anyone here has a smaller bill? I think I do. Hold on. What's this? No! Give it back! It's just a paper. I don't care! Give it! Looks ancient, too. Why do you keep this around? Don't open it! What's the big deal? It's not like it's a love letter. I don't see any reason to- Hold on a second. This is, isn't it? Even if it is, it's not for you! Okay. Now I'm curious. I'm telling you it's nothing like that! It's- Send this to five people, or else. Well, that's... interesting. Um, guys, I think we should listen to Bella first. Aren't you a few days early for Halloween? It's not a prank. 
What did you say? This isn't a prank! I saw something! Hold on. Are we still talking about this paper? Or is it about the urban legend again? Both. I know it sounds ridiculous. You're saying this is a primitive version of a chain letter, and now that we've seen it, we're now cursed. You've got to be kidding me. See? This is why I didn't want to tell you guys. Isabella, aren't you taking this a bit too far? It's not a joke! Will you guys listen to me first? I saw something in the house earlier. It stood right in front of me. If I hadn't gotten away, that thing might have... Right. And in broad daylight, Isabella. Even someone gullible would find the logic in that screwed up. There's also no way in hell that this supernatural shit is true. But it's real! What do you think I saw? A hallucination? A delusion? Didn't you say you fell down some stairs? So maybe Rebecca's right. It happened after, when I was trying to get away. I almost got stuck in the same room with that thing. We're all in danger. I thought you were my friends. Why don't you believe me? We are, and you know that. But this thing and that thing has got nothing to do with the other. When Rose called earlier, I thought she's just exaggerating. But based on what I'm seeing right now, maybe it's better if we really postpone this for now. Don't bother. Guys! Why don't we all calm down first? I'm sure Isabella has her reasons too. No need to be hard on her. And hey, ain't this supposed to be a happy get-together? We haven't seen each other for months. I'd really love to know what y'all have been up to. I only ever get to talk to Bella over chat. Please. If we keep arguing here, we're going to miss the first few minutes. All right, that's the Isabella I know. Oh, good. I thought for sure you were going to cry. <clears throat> what was that for? Stop calling me a crybaby. I'm not one. Oh, don't cry. Stop it. Okay, scaredy cat then. That too. If you repeat that, I swear I'll... <sighs> Let's just go. So, uh... But you'll miss it! Didn't you say watching a movie without food ain't fun? And <laughs> it ain't like I haven't seen it! I made it, remember? I'll be in there soon. And then? Are you sure it wasn't one of the cleaning crews? Absolutely sure. And then I ran. You heard what happened after. I still think it's something else. It was standing right in front of me, Ash.
I heard what you said, but it's a small room. There are a lot of things someone else could have done there without your knowledge. If I could see it up close, maybe I could- I am not going back there! Ain't that a problem if you're hosting an open house? Rose does the first floor tour. I ain't sure ghosts can be restricted to one room, Bella. There are no ghosts, Zack. Stop putting useless ideas in her head. Yeah, but I was thinking. Maybe all the house needs is a blessing. Wasn't it left uninhabited for years? Hmm, that's true. It could just be blessed, you know? I didn't peg you as the religious type, Zack. Nothing like that, Ash. Who knows, though? It might bring something positive to the place. That's not a bad idea. I just don't know where I could find someone. You're not seriously considering a suggestion, are you? Do you have a better idea? I know where. I could contact him for you if you want. You do that? Or we can find you a psychologist instead. Ash, that is not a very appropriate thing to say right now. No, wait, that's not what I meant. Ethnographer. I meant ethnographer. This guy's a psychologist too, of course, if you- Ashton, if you don't stop- Rebecca knows the guy I'm talking about too. She can vouch for him. Huh? What? Oh, are you talking about Professor Andrew? He used to work with my parents at the university. And can you guys keep it down? Sorry, the scaredy cat here mentioned curses. Not that I'm saying this is one, but talking to him is a better solution for me than getting a random priest to bless an old house. He'll even help you figure things out, teach you a couple things. And probably put your fears to rest, since this looks to be bothering you a lot. So, what do you think? It's your call. We'll go with whatever you want. I don't know. I... Ugh. Actually, I think I'm gonna stop for today. I can't keep making these choices. It's too much for me. Anyway, thanks for watching. I hope you guys are enjoying this as much as I can. As much as I can. As much as I am. I like this stuff. It's gonna be difficult making these choices because looking at the game, I guess it stems from the choices you make. And looking at the choices right now, Becca isn't too happy with me. Um, well, alright, I will try recording again soon, thanks for watching guys, and I will see you soon.